Hello, my friends. Okay, so today's video is going to be a little bit weird. I'm gonna be doing a random rem Are you okay? I just woke up, as you could probably tell. I look crazy. But I'm thinking I'm gonna be posting a random rambles video today, which is probably why this video is going up so late. I was trying to film a video yesterday for today, but the construction was so loud and it did not stop. I couldn't film and then I felt so bad. So I, when I woke up today, I was like, you know what? What if I did a random rambles of my day? I'm not very fun. I don't do fun things at all. I barely leave my house. But I thought maybe a random rambles was better than nothing. Honestly guys, with this whole KO polish thing, I didn't know it was going to be as much as it is. I didn't know how crazy that was going to be and it's my brand so I'm very involved that sometimes it's hard to film and I've told you guys a hundred times. I don't want to repeat this story over and over again but yesterday we had construction issues. <laughs> so today, oh my shoes untied. Um, it's going to be a simple day. I'm actually waiting for my sister-in-law Becky to get here because I haven't worked out in two months because Becky and I, my sister-in-law, we always work out together. Like that's just what we do. I don't work out unless I'm working out with Becky because I really have no willpower. <laughs> I will say I need to work out with someone in order to be motivated to work out because I, I hate it. I, I, I hate it. I hate exercising, but I know it's very important for our bodies. So uh, my brother's kids have been out of school, you know, it was summer break and J Johnny and Becky have three kids. So she couldn't come over with them during the summer to work out. Like she could come over with them to hang out, but when we would try to work out, it was just, it was too much. So we kind of put a pause on working out until school started up again and school is officially back. And today is my first day back working out which I'm afraid, I feel like all my muscle has left. All the little muscle I had is gone. And I feel like I'm a weakling now, so hopefully, my, like my, right now, my arm is on fire from holding this camera. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing right now. I also have to declutter one of my drawers, so maybe you guys can help me declutter that. <laughs> but anyway, I just woke up and brushed my teeth. I'm gonna go wash my face and have breakfast and stuff, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm back. So I just finished working out like two hours ago. I took a shower and stuff and I came into my guest bedroom to get away from the chaos. Hey, poor. It's on my little friend. Ah. Celine knows she's only allowed to get. <laughs> Stop. Celine knows she's only allowed to get on the bed in the guest room. This is like my old bed. Do you guys remember this bed? This is my old bedroom set from when Danny and I first got married, like almost seven years ago. And I've been wanting to redo the guest bedroom, but I don't want to get rid of my furniture. I have this weird thing. I'm ow. I'm like attached to old pieces and old things that I had before I started YouTube. It's like a weird thing and I can't get rid of it. I don't know. I'm so tired today. I think it's because I haven't worked out in so long. My body's not used to it. And I actually have to go to my friend Jesse's house who just had a baby. I went to go see her in the hospital, but I haven't seen uh, the baby since he's been born like at, at their house. So I'm actually going to go do that in a little while and then I'll come back home and edit this crap and put it on the internet. Oh, by the way, I have a new shirt on. This is my John Bender shirt from The Breakfast Club. I just got it. I'm pretty sure I got this at Urban Outfitters or at Forever 21. I'm not sure. I have an addiction to graphic tees or things like this, and I love this. Like, how epic is this shirt? Plus, I got my Starry Night. <laughs> my Starry Night socks, which is my favorite painting in the world. Got them socks on. So, I'm super fashionable today. Oh my gosh, I have to declutter that drawer. I completely forgot. I'm gonna go do that now. And I actually have the cutest little Too Faced PR package to show you. Yeah, let's go do that, let's go do that. Look at this, it's a lollipop. I was actually waiting for you guys to open it so that I can open it on camera. Ignore my hair, okay? I'm letting it air dry because I'm about to iron it, but look at this. I have never been more excited to get a PR package ever, ever. If you didn't know, Candy Johnson is one of the best, most amazing creatures on this planet. Now, I have met a lot of YouTubers in my day, okay? A lot of them. But no one, no one is as sweet as Candy Johnson. I met her for the first time at Gen Beauty last year and she was so... Sir. 
answer. She was so nice to me, so welcoming. Like if she knew me her whole life, I swear she treated me like she knew me her whole life. And I'm so awkward when I'm meeting people, I'm like so weird. I thought she was just amazing. Look at this beauty, look at this beauty. So happy she collabed with Too Faced. You get a I Want Candy limited edition. Candy scented, I didn't know it was candy scented. <laughs> oh, this is so cute, look at this. It has Candy Johnson like right there. Like right there, look how cute this palette is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Comes with a little paper on the inside. All right, so that was driving me nuts. Anyway, I cannot wait to play around with this. I love Candy Johnson so much. Oh, I was so excited for this. This is the I Want Candy Banana Pudding. It's a brightening face powder. And it looks, look at this cute little packaging. I love it, does it smell like bananas? Oh my God, wait. Okay, I don't think it smells like bananas, but it kind of smells like something familiar. Gosh, I think this would look really nice underneath the eyes. It looks really crazy yellow on camera, but it's lighter in person. Oh, I didn't smell these. Oh. Okay, okay, you know what I think it smells like? I think it smells like their original cocoa, like that vanilla cocoa with a hint of sweetness. I don't think it necessarily smells like candy at all. I don't really smell, but what does candy smell like if you think about it? You get a luminizer and then you get a black licorice liquid eyeliner. So this is like a face highlight and this one, <laughs> this is like a liquid liner. So cute, so cute. And the candy glow luminizer, supposedly this smells like candy as well. <gasps> oh, it's like a stick highlight. That is such a pretty color. Can you see that? It looks like it might be a little too pigmented for my skin tone. This feels like this blends out like a dream. And then you get five liquefied matte longwear lipsticks. They're liquid lip, did I say five? Did I say five? These suppose, oh. Oh, holy crap. This smells like marshmallows. The other stuff I was like, mm, that kind of smells like their original stuff. I don't really smell the candy that much, but this smell, did I spit everywhere? This smells amazing. I want to eat this. This smells like old school. <laughs> like old school lip smackers the marshmallow lip smacker. That's what this. Oh my god. That's that's amazing And then you get a four liquid lipsticks you get a berry one a nude one a Red one and then kind of like a mauvey one. So this one is called freshly baked. Oh My god, I feel like this is such a candy Johnson color. Oh my god These swatches are gonna be so pointless. This one is called tropical punch. I feel like this is also such a candy shade then we have Melted Ice Cream. I love the name of that one. So it looks so pretty with like a deeper lip gloss on top. You can't even see that. It's very light. This video sucks. And then, oh, they smell the same as the highlight. Kind of smell like the Marshmallow Fireside Candles from Bath & Body Works. I know that sounds crazy, but they kind of do. Ooh, I love this color. This one is called Sweet and Sour. I thought it was gonna be like more red, but it is a stunning like corally orangey red. This beauty fur. I love all of these shades, let me tell you. I love everything, even though I haven't tried anything yet. Congratulations, Candy Johnson. Now I have to go through that damn drawer. The drawer has been calling my name for days. It's like, declutter me, please, please. So I have to do that. Okay, it's this drawer, which I've already gone through like a whole makeup sash video. I kind of had a pause on makeup sash videos. I will continue them. I changed the knobs, and I know that it doesn't like match with everything right now, but as I change my room up, they will eventually match my room. But anyway. Look at this, oh my god. I have accumulated more setting sprays and more powders like in the last couple months. It's insane. So, I, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this. So, I'm gonna take everything out. Look at this weirdo. Swing, what are you doing? I'm gonna take everything out of the drawer. Okay, so these are all my setting sprays and these are all my face powders. This is ridiculous. So, I'm gonna go through all the setting sprays first. This is the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. I'm gonna hold on to this just because I really don't have that many mattifying setting sprays and you never know when you're gonna need it and I love Cover FX. This is the Ren Flash Defense Anti-Pollution Mist. I never freaking use this. I, 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 I never use this. The Picky, Picky, what? The Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist is one of my favorites. I have to hold on to this. This is the Milk Makeup Blur Spray. I actually don't really like this. It just makes my face feel really weird. I'll go into more detail in my setting spray video, which is why I'm gonna get rid of it, but I'm gonna hold on to it. But mm, I don't love this. That's going in the no pile. Wet n Wild Setting Spray, it's a must. It's so good. Keeping. 
I love this Skin Ink Pure Serum Mist. I think it's really amazing. And this is the small travel spray. I have like the big one right up there. So of course I'm keeping, I love it. The Scandinavia setting sprays are some of the best setting sprays in my opinion. This is the primer and the finishing setting spray, so I'm keeping them both. I'm getting rid of this Project Beauty Spray Set Go. I just, I don't love the mist on this and I have other setting sprays I like more. I mean, do I, do I have to say anything? Like, do I have to? This is a new one I just recently picked up and it was like an arm and a leg, so I'm gonna hold on to it. This is from Lila B. It's the Afterglow Face Mist. It's very, very similar to the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I'm almost completely out of. But these two are very, very similar. They're also very similar in price. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to both of these. The Glam Glow Glow Setter is a new setting spray that I haven't even used yet. I know, I'm awful, so I am gonna hold on to this. This Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist is garbage. It's not that it's garbage, it's just the sprayer on this sucks. It just throw. I, I hate it. And when a spray sucks this bad, I can't even enjoy the inside. It just puts spots all over my face. It's not good. I've been trying out the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray, and so far so good. I've been using it a ton, so I, I think I really like it. I think I really like it. I'm gonna hold on to it. This is the Smashbox Primer Water. I think it might be a little bit of a gimmick, but I'm gonna keep it just in case. I'm gonna pass on the Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray setting spray from Hard Candy because I really, really like this one. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. It says Primer Mist, but I find that it works as a primer and as a setting spray. I don't really use the other one, so I like this one from Hard Candy, and I'm holding on to it. It's really, really good. These Urban Decay like setting sprays and like all this stuff, the B6, the Quick Fix, the All Night of the Chill. These are really, really great. They're made by Scandinavia, so I am gonna hold on to all of them except this one. This is the oh, this is the Quick Fix. This is kind of like a primer spray, but I never even touch this. I prefer the B6 over this one. It's just, I don't know, it has like coconut water in it, but it really doesn't do much for me, so I'm gonna get rid of that one, and I'm gonna keep these three. I've been testing and loving the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 like face mist. I love it as a primer, like right before putting on my foundation. It works really well, so I'm keeping that. I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm, where's the other one, where's it? Didn't, oh, I'm over it, I'm over it. I'm over MAC Fix Plus, and these are super old. I got them like three years ago. It's a lavender and like a coconut, I'm just, I, I don't want it. This is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray, and I have to be honest, I don't like this nearly as much as the Make It Last Setting Spray, so I'm passing that one along. Another one I'm getting rid of is the Algenist Splash Hydrating Setting Mist. It's really amazing, don't get me wrong. Great for hydrating, but I have so many that already do that, so I'm just gonna pass this one. I love this Pixie Glow Mist, mainly as like a priming spray. It works really well, perfect for dry skin. I'm gonna hold on to that. This is the Glow Getter Mist from the brand Wander. I bought this in a little set and I used it once, didn't fall in love, and I, I just, I don't know, I don't use it. Oh, this is brand new. This is the Ben Nye Final Seal. I just recently got this because I hear this is like the most intense setting spray in the world. So I got this little size so that I could use it just for special occasions. I don't like this. It's really bulky. It doesn't do much. It's from Pretty Vulgar. It's their setting spray and it's... It's just looks, honestly. It does nothing for me. I use this in place of my MAC Fix Plus. This is the Makeup Revolution Aqua Priming Base. I use this for pigments. For some reason, I just really, really like this for that, so yeah. I don't know why I don't like it, but I know it, it just, I just don't like it. It does nothing for me. The spray is weird. It's, I just, I don't get it. This is the Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Mist. I haven't tried this enough to say like, oh, I don't like it, or oh my gosh, I love it. So I'm gonna hold on to it just to try it out a little bit more. This I don't really use. This is the Pharmacy Skin Do. It has really great ingredients and all of that, but I just don't use it, so I'm gonna pass that along. And then last but not least, this is the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. I'm almost completely out of this. It's amazing. It has like a continuous spray. It's just so fine, it's incredible. So, of course I'm keeping it. Okay, so these are all the setting sprays I'm saying bye-bye to. And then let's go through these powders. This is that pixie powder I used in a recent video. I used it a few more times after that video and I truly just don't love it. I have powders that are way better than this. So I'm skipping this. I cannot get rid of the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. It's so affordable and it's so good. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I don't know how this ended up in my collection again because I'm pretty sure I recently decluttered this, but I'm gonna pass this along because I have a mini version of it already. 
I mean, do I have to say it? Of course I'm keeping this. It's my favorite. I've really been liking this new Too Faced Born This Way powder. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's great on those days where my skin is looking a little flat. So I'm going to hold on to this. I love it. The RMS Beauty Un Powder is so weird in the best way possible. It's the smoothest powder in my collection. It's like... I can't even describe the feeling of this. It's definitely a day powder. You do get a little bit of flashback with this, but it's incredible. You know, I was really into this powder for a long time. This is the Fiona Styles uh, Invisible Finish Powder. I just, I don't know, I have other powders I like more, so I'm gonna pass that along. For example, like this. This is the new Glossier Wowder. This is my new go-to powder. It's incredible, and the packaging is really great. Oh my god, I spoke about this in a recent haul. This is from the brand Lila B. And this is a face powder in like the coolest packaging ever. Of course I'm keeping it. It's so cool. This is the Koki Translucent Setting Powder. I think it's really good. But I don't want to hold on to something that I don't really use. And ever since I used it in that video, I don't really reach for it. The same goes for this. This is the Natasha Denona Invisible HD Face Powder. I just use my other loose face powders more than this. So I'm going to pass it. The Cojan Do My Fanchi Natural Lighting Powder is something that's really weird, but I kind of love it. I don't know, I just, I'm not ready to let it go. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Compact. Even though I don't like the Luminous Silk Foundation that much, I love the compact. So yes, I'm keeping it. I'm also keeping the Cover FX Loose Powder. It's just too good to give up. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder. I obviously don't use this one, it's too dark for me. And this is like a yellow one and this one's translucent. They're really good, I just, I don't reach for them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give them all away. I love Pacifica, but this mineral neutralizing mattifier is too pink on my skin. And you can really, really see it, so I cannot use that. This was something that was ridiculously overpriced. This is the La Prairie Cellular Treatment Foundation. Um, this was expensive, and I don't think it's as good as it should be with that price tag, so I'm gonna give this one to my mother. This is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, and I love it. Now we have these. Let's try to go through these really fast. Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifier, I love it. Will not get rid of it. I also love this Milani Prep Set and Glow. This is, oh my god, no, I love this. This stuff is so good. This is the Kat Von D Locket Blotting Powder. Um, yeah, this erases your pores. It is amazing. I also really love the, Char I don't need this many powders, but I can't help it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Powder, the airbrush one. I love it. I'm going to get rid of this H&M powder just because it is so light, even when I'm my natural skin color. So I like it underneath the eyes, but I just don't use it anymore. I this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Powder. I used to love it, but honestly, I don't even use it that much anymore. The Cover FX Pressed Powder in Light. I really, really like it. I'm keeping it. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder. I want to use this a little bit more. I feel like I haven't used it enough, so I'm going to hang on to that. The NYX Finishing Powder is really, really great for underneath the eyes. I really love it. I also really love this e.l.f. powder. Uh, it doesn't really have a name. It just says Finishing Powder, but I really like it. Do you guys remember this? This was like my holy grail powder for a long time. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in 135. Creamy Natural. Wow. Man, I haven't used this in forever. I don't even think they make this shade anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Wow, I can't believe I'm saying that. I love this powder. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. It is so natural and so beautiful. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I feel like I haven't given this a fair shot, so I'm gonna hold on to it and use it a little bit more. I don't really use this LA Girl Pro Face Powder nearly enough as I should, so I'm going to I'm going to pass that. I'm also gonna get rid of this one just because I, I keep it for the packaging, but I don't really use it. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. If I'm gonna use a pore filling, it's either gonna be my Kat Von D one or my Bye Bye Pores for Make Cosmetics, which I'm also keeping. These are all the powders I'm getting rid of. I wanted to get rid of a little bit more, but you know, sometimes my body cannot. Oh, I also have these Hourglass powders, which I will never get rid of. I love Hourglass powders. So yeah, guys, this is it. All my setting sprays and all my powders. The drawer looks so much better now. I feel like I can breathe now. It was just way too cluttered. This is everything I'm getting rid of. And yeah, it feels good, it feels good. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Look at this, what is this? I don't even know. I hope this video was something. I didn't wanna leave you guys just hanging with absolutely nothing. And a lot of you guys on Twitter were just like, yes, post anything random, it's okay, it's fine. So that's this.
And I quickly want to mention before I say goodbye, I hope everyone in Texas is safe. I am praying for everyone affected by Hurricane Harvey and the flood. It's just, it's so devastating, all the animals and the little kids. All the videos I've seen is truly, truly heartbreaking. If anybody knows really good places to donate to, leave them in, leave them in the comments below. I know Katie Lusterlux had linked two really good sites that I donated to in her Instagram account, but I want to know if you guys know of any more places. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Natural disasters are just... They're heartbreaking, they're devastating, and I hope you guys are okay. But yeah, that completes this video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.